okay, this project is just for fun and not required of anyone. Here's what you're going to need. A shallow plate, some milk, dish soap, food coloring, and a Q-tip. And if you've got all of that at home, you can have a lot of fun. It's like a little science experiment, and I call it milk painting. You're going to be painting on a white surface, but not paper. We're going to use milk as our white surface. I will have an assistant today. Greg will be my partner, and we're both going to teach you how to do an abstract painting on a plate of milk. Feel free to just watch our demonstration, but if you want to try it at home, ask your parents' permission first. And the painting is going to be a beautiful abstract piece of art that you should take video of or a great photo of when you get to the best part. Okay, here I am with my partner, Greg. Hello. And he's going to help us with a little artsy science type experiment here. Should be exciting. Tell us what you have there. Okay, first we have any kind of milk would be just fine. Okay. Correct. We're going to pour this right up to about this line. So pick a real flat plate with a little bit of an edge on it. And this you're definitely going to want mom and dad to help you with. So don't try this experiment at home unless you have your parents' permission. That looks like enough. All right. You're not going to be drinking this milk later. Okay. okay, what else do you have there? Oh, we have some food color. Just a standard food coloring. Anything that you may have left over from this past Easter even. You know when you colored your eggs with them, kids? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and tell us what the other things are on the table. Oh, also you're going to need a Q-tip. Um, and you're going to need um, dishwash a detergent. Any kind. Liquid. And maybe a little container to pour it into. Greg has already poured some into that container, so yes. we don't have to use that whole big amount, but that's okay. what it looks like. Okay, non-edible. Right. Okay, so next, let's take the food coloring okay. and okay. pour it onto the milk. Okay, we have four food colorings. We're gonna do just one at a time, and we're gonna do six drops, all into one consistent area. Watch carefully. Beautiful. And we'll put the other ones more towards the center so it has room to run. Mm -hmm. Six. Just the red. Okay, then we're gonna do if the green. If you wanna do more than six, you can. It'll just make a bigger shape. This should be interesting. Ooh, look how they're growing. The blue one's big. Nice job, Miss Ross. Is behind the camera, kids. <laughs> All, right. All right. Now, if you want to do more than that, you can. We'll start with this and see what it's going to look like. All right. So now, Greg, what are you doing? I'm taking the. Uh, it doesn't have to be the COVID-19 approved 99% <laughs> type of material. <laughs> Any kind of um, uh, dishwash. Liquid detergent is fine. Just pour just a little bit here already. I pour it into this little cup. And I'm going to now take my Q-tip kids, where we're going to absorb some of that detergent. Okay. And we're gonna go to, let's go to the yellow one first. Okay, he's gonna put the Q-tip into the yellow and hold it there in the milk. <gasps> Now lift it. Oh. Let's do another color. Wow, that exploded. Let's dip it into the red now. Okay. You can take the same Q-tip. Same Q-tip, same with, side? Yep, yeah, with the soap. Do the red like, a, looks like fireworks. Let's see what this looks like. Don't move little... the plate. No, you can't move the bowl. Oh, okay. You gotta, you're not supposed to let the milk move. Oh, yeah. Keep the plate really steady. Okay. There's the red. Okay, lift. Ooh, like fireworks. All right, let's try the other colors. July 4th, coming early. I don't think you need to get too much more soap on there. Oh, I see. Maybe. So the blue. Ooh, cool. Ooh, Look like at the it. green. It's going and yeah. going and going. I'm going to go. It keeps moving. 
<laughs> look yeah. at that. Wow. Wow, look at that. Uh, that keeps going. Keeps going. It's like an eyeball. Yes. Ah. The soap is doing something to the fat that's in the milk and pushing it away. Let's get to that green spot over there. Okay. It stops having an effect after a while. So in the beginning, when it goes fast, it starts doing a little bit less. See how this green's not responding as well as that yellow did in the beginning? Yes. It's just because it's already got a lot of soap into it. But that middle part is still going. The blue. Wow, it's really still exploding. If I can zoom in on it. That looks really cool. Art for art's sake. <laughs> All right, I think it stopped growing now. I think so. Still but going. There's a little bit still more going. happening right in there. If I can get the lighting just right. Oh, it's still moving. Look at that. Wow. If I zoom in on it. Wonderful. Wow. Look at that. Well, that's a fun experiment you can do with your families if they agree to use the food coloring and the milk and the soap. And uh, Greg, thank you so much for helping us. Go sea turtles! <laughs> Thank you.